Hey guys, it's Brie and welcome to my channel. So, first of all, excuse my voice. I'm sick. I guess I have like a summer cold or something. So, I apologize in advance. But yeah, um, as you guys can tell by the title, this video is going to be a reaction slash response to the Mix-ish trailer. Um, but before I get into the video, I have a few announcements. So, number one, I want to say thank you guys for 180 subscribers. Thank you to everyone who has subscribed and stayed subscribed. Um, yeah. Also, I do have some videos that I'm planning to come out really soon. I'm going on a cruise in July, so I plan to do a vacation haul. I'm trying to do the Boyfriend Race My Swimsuits video, but... He doesn't really want to do it so so if i can't convince him to do it then we will and if not we won't i'm also planning to do a pack with me for my carry-on and my luggage and like a vacation prep video and then when i return i want to do a story time where i just kind of insert clips and videos photos that i took on the trip to kind of show you guys you know everything that we did and experienced so yeah if you're not subscribed already make sure you do that now so you don't miss any of my future videos it's also nighttime it's like 7 30 and the sun is down so it is dark my bad but yeah so i'm not gonna lie i've already seen this trailer and i just didn't think to do a reaction to it but i'm gonna do one because i'm an opinionated girl why not so if i'm looking down i'm looking at the trailer and I'm going to try to insert like a clip of the trailer so you guys can see what I'm seeing when I'm seeing it. Um, also, just a disclaimer, as I watch this video and give my opinion, um, note that I do not consider myself a mixed girl or biracial or anything like that. So I can only speak from my experience. Um, yeah. Oh yeah, my birthday's tomorrow. I'm so excited. June 6th. <laughs> Hashtag Gemini. Um, but I'm gonna be sick. So. Anyway, I'm about to start watching the trailer. So let's get into it. Hi, I'm Rainbow Johnson. I'm a doctor, a wife, and a mother to five beautiful children. But as I watched them grow into the people they are today, I realized they don't know my story. You grew up in a cult. It's amazing I ever met you. Well, we actually wouldn't have ever met if the elders hadn't gotten arrested. Wait, what? Well, they didn't get arrested. They got um, detained for three to five years. What? What? <laughs> In the summer of 1985, I was 12 years old and I was living with my family on a commune. Okay, y'all, to be honest, my first issue with this show is that they're setting it back in the 80s. Now, I understand chronologically, if the story is supposed to be about Bo, this obviously would have been the 80s, would have been when she was a child and when she was growing up, as she just said. However, I really feel like we don't need a show about back in the 80s. I feel like we need a current show, um, especially with today's you know society. Interracial and biracial children are more and more common. And I feel like there are issues that are just more important, more current, more relevant that could really be discussed as opposed to what happened 40, 50 years ago when interracial and biracial kids was like a taboo versus today where it's common and almost appraised by some people you know um but anyways let me finish watching we ate together prayed together and even slept together i would have told you it was perfect but the government would have told you we were a radicalized cult in violation of over 47 atf regulations while the 
rest of the world was inaugurating Reagan into his second term and worrying about AIDS, famine, and the crack epidemic, my peaceful little world had been taken away. I know this place might seem different. Hey, hippies. Harrison Jackson III was my grandfather. I'm going to make more real-world money to pay for this real-world house that your entire family's survival is dependent upon. <laughs> And that's why I hate guns. My little brother, Johan, looked at everything like one great big magical adventure. I drew it's a portal to another dimension. Guess that's settled. Never using that thing. My little sister, Santa Monica, complained like a woman with no kids on her third divorce. Uh, to be honest, I really feel like this show was gonna crash and burn, y'all. I'm not even about to lie. Which, interestingly enough, she would eventually become. And when we got to school... Okay, first of all... Hopefully, I'm able to insert the clip so you guys can see what I see. Why do they have their kids dressed like that? In the last clip, Tika Sumter was just playing their mom and then the dad, I don't know his name. They were well-dressed. They look like they, you know, are well-kept and like they belong. And I'm looking at this video with the kids walking through school. Why are the kids dressed like they don't belong, you know? That's already going to make them get made fun of completely outside of them being mixed. You know, just the fact that y'all dress them like they don't belong. Everybody else has bright colors on. Their clothes fit them well. They, You know, like, that's already standing out to me. Why would you, the parents, look so well kept? Excuse me. You know that you just moved to the suburbs or whatever, and you have these kids dressed like they're from somewhere else. Just something that I'm noticing. We got introduced to the real world. I'm too little to die! Real quick. What are you weirdos mixed with? What? Okay. Like I said, I've seen this video before, and this really kind of bothered me. Because, and like I said, this is from my experience. I'll be 23 years old tomorrow. So, I know this is set back in the 80s. Obviously, things were different, a lot different. But I've just never heard someone say, what are you weirdos mixed with? And I don't come from like a small conservative town. I've been around tons and tons of people. So maybe that's why. Also, like I said at the beginning, I'm not mixed. I can't speak as a mixed person. But to me, I don't know. Just doesn't seem realistic to me. And if you are mixed or biracial, you know, correct me if I'm wrong. If you have experience, you know, being told something like that. But it just seems out of the ordinary to me for this day and age. And I feel like... I mean, I feel like, I feel like if they're going to put it back in the 80s, it should be about the parents because um, it could have been the parent struggles, what it was like trying to be an interracial couple back then when it wasn't accepted. I think it should be about the parents. But I don't know. I just feel like if we're going to really make a show about these race, these mixed race kids and in the trailer, you have black, darker skinned kids making fun of these lighter skin mixed kids i feel like it should be more relevant about what's currently going on today that's just my opinion i feel like it'll get much more attention i feel like it'll reach more people if we're talking about what's currently going on and there really is a lot of issues that are relevant and current that um the black community and interracial kids do face i feel like they really could have gotten into colorism and the hair topics but from my experience and from my knowledge i feel like the issues that these interracial kids mostly face is within themselves and with you know fitting in with one side of the family over the other side and that's from my experience i feel like that's what interracial kids struggle with the most um and like i said i understand this is back in the 80s to when back then yeah, it probably was looked down upon to have interracial relationships, let alone have kids as a product of those relationships. And I'm sure there are some people who can really relate to that, you know, but I just feel like today's youth is affected by so many things. There's so much going on today that really needs to be addressed if we're going to do these, if we're going to do these controversial shows. Um... Yeah, I do think it's great that they're trying to make a show for, you know, mixed kids to have some representation. I think that's great. You know, they have all the black sitcoms now. Of course, white people have their sitcoms. Um, and 
even they're force feeding us with this gay and transgender type of stuff so why not allow a space for mixed kids um to belong i think that's a great idea and a great concept but i just feel like they need to do it well and personally i think the show will be much better set in current times and talk about current issues yeah also like i said they're still dressed odd when compared to the rest of the people in the scene so that's that's a quick bullying point is dressing your kids you know out of the style or whatever but what's next <laughs> my parents had sent us out into so in this clip he just said what do you wear those mixed with and she said what's mixed i feel like that would be a great topic for an episode to get into what does mixed mean because if we're gonna be honest mixed meaning basically just meaning more than one things put together pretty much everybody is mixed but i'm not considered mixed i'm considered black but my nanny's white and her mom is white so technically i am mixed but i would never be considered mixed so i think that would be a great topic to get into what is the real definition of mixed and why does that even matter why can't they just why can't she just be rainbow johnson why does she have to be mixed you know so and then there's the debate well if you're mixed you're not black and all kinds i feel like that's something that would be a great topic to get into that's relevant in today's society and that's something that they could really get into like like i said if we're gonna do these controversial videos or these videos about people's struggles let's 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 do it like if we're gonna do it let's do it to the world with absolutely no warning that being mixed was even a thing imagine being the new kid when no one in the world is like you but you have to understand today's mixed kids can look up to rappers ballerinas athletes a president and a princess and see okay what hold on hold on she just said today's mixed kids can look up to can look up to rappers ballerinas athletes a is that president obama if this was set back in the 80s how are y'all looking up to obama pretty sure he wasn't president back then The only heroes we have. So then if we're going to talk about today's kids, then let's talk about today's kids. Does that make sense? Like, if we're talking about who kids today look up to and what today's kids are experiencing, which we should be, then let's talk about what today's kids are experiencing. And since it's set back in the 80s, I don't think they're going to do that. Do you, like, do y'all understand what I'm saying? Or am I confusing y'all? So if I'm confusing y'all, I'm sorry. But that just kind of threw me off. Because like I said, I feel like it shouldn't be set back in the 80s unless it's talking about the parents. But I just feel like there's too much important things that are going on today that today's youth and young children, the black community and mixed community are actually going through that needs to be addressed. If we're really going to give these mixed kids a place, talk about what they're currently experiencing, not about 30, 40 years ago. But let me continue we're debarge don't worry about what other kids think they're idiots and i want to be one of them i want to be an idiot so bad y'all the little girl is so cute who's playing santa monica she's so cute i feel like i'm gonna like her character aside from how bad i think the show's gonna be her character is so cute now me you didn't send these babies to school looking like this what's wrong with how we look sweetie you know how td loves you very okay why the black dark skin auntie got this horrible eyeshadow on but this is back in the 80s so things obviously the makeup looks are different but i'm so glad that the auntie pointed that out because i think i said that earlier like why are the kids dressed like they're literally i'm trying not to say something offensive but the kids are dressed in a way that they shouldn't be dressed so i'm glad that she pointed it out because I'm sure everybody knows you don't send your kids to a new school and have them dress like they literally don't belong. Much, but you look like a runaway house slave. No. The world smacked you in the face today, didn't it? You can tell me. 
it's hard to be a rainbow. I didn't notice that the first time I saw this video, but that's funny. Because I guess it's hard to be a rainbow, meaning they have more than one colored race. Interesting, because today's day, rainbow is usually representative of the like gay transgender community but that, that was just something interesting that stood out to me i didn't even notice that when i first watched it anyway it did it really did in the summer of 1985 we are living in a material world and i'm a serial girl i was 12 years old Guns. Relax, Hippie. What are guns or every child's Second Amendment right? Pew, 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 pew. I love the Second Amendment! And my life. I also think it's interesting that this is set back in the day where these interracial kids and biracial kids are strange and not the norm and frowned upon. It's interesting that the white grandparent just almost doesn't care. Like, oh, I look like he just seems to love the kids and embrace them. So that's interesting to me. Like, if we're going to get into the struggles of it, wouldn't the white parent be like, oh, why you dating a black girl? Why you have her kids? Like, wouldn't he not want to accept them? So I think that that's interesting that he's so accepting when it seems like the whole trend of this show, the whole controversy is that it shouldn't be accepted in this time period. But I don't know. And of course, not everybody feels that way. I mean, not everybody, just because they're white, not everybody is going to look down upon their child being with someone of a different race. But I just, I just thought that if the show was going to get into the struggles, then they would make it struggly. Struggly. <laughs> anyway, y'all, there's like 20 more seconds. Changed forever. that's it the rest is like in a little advertisement so i don't know guys i don't think it's gonna be a good show to be honest i feel like and i honestly i feel like it didn't even have to be one of these mixed ish mixed ish one of these ish series shows i feel like it could have just simply been a show um to represent the mixed community but I'm not trying to take away from the mixed community. I feel like this just could have really been a great platform for everyone within the black community. And I feel like this could have been a really great opportunity to tap into today's current issues about, you know, colorism and self-hate and self-love and all that. Um, and like I said, I'm not mixed. So if you're mixed, you know, correct me if I'm wrong or, you know, what your experiences were and if you can relate to this. But I just think it's so important about what's currently going on. There's so many things that today's kids can relate to. It's going to be today's youth and children that are needing a show that helps represent them, not way back then. So I just feel like it would make more sense for it to be more relevant and what's currently going on if we're really going to put a show to represent, you know, today's kids. Um, I don't think I'm going to like it. I'm going to watch it just to see. I'll probably give it three or four episodes. And if I'm not intrigued by then, I'm not going to keep watching it. But I don't know. Like I said, I think they already have a platform since they're riding this ish train. Um, so they already have a little bit of a platform. And like I said, it's a perfect time to do a show about interracial kids because that's just becoming more and more popular. I'm sure at this point we all know or heard of an interracial, biracial kid or family or relationship. So I think it's a great time to, you know, represent those people. Everybody else is represented. Um, why shouldn't they be? But I feel like if they don't, if they don't execute it well, if they don't represent these different parties well, I think the show is really going to crash and burn. So if they have these black, darker skin kids, cause if you, and if you noticed in the trailer, there was like a side with the white kids and a side with the black kids. And the black kids were pretty, pretty dark. There wasn't much variation in the black kids aside from the mixed kids, which I think is interesting. 
because black people come in all types of shades and colors and i'm sure even back then like you don't have to be biracial to have curly hair or to just not be super dark so i thought it was interesting that there was no variation in those black kids knowing full well that black people do come in all shades and sizes without having to be having one white parent and one black parent so i thought that was interesting um and i feel like if they don't represent these people well it's going to turn out bad if you have all of these young black kids acting jealous just because they're different i feel like y'all are going to get some hate for that you know what i'm saying like i just feel like they need to make it make sense make it realistic like like i said oh what do you weirdos mix with in 23 years of my life i've never heard or heard of anything like that because that's not relevant today you know this day and age mixed kids are praised and looked up at you know people some people idealize having kids with someone of a lighter skin or a different hair texture because they think they're gonna have pretty kids and stuff like that so i feel like there's some really big and major topics that they could get into that they won't um but yeah i'm not really feeling it i don't think i'm gonna like it um but yeah i just feel like this could be a really good show and not to take away from the mixed kids having a show but i feel like this could be a good show for all black people um like like there could have been an episode let's say there was like a school dance right let's say bo was in the bathroom stall crying and then michelle who's one of the black kids is in the stall next to her crying you know oh bo is that you what's wrong michelle what's wrong and then like she's like oh my mom straightened my hair for the dance and it was supposed to be so pretty but like it got really hot in there so now my hair puffed out then they could come out the stall michelle could be like well i thought your hair was pretty why do you want it to be straight you know and then um what's her name michelle could be like my hair has to be straight my mom relaxes it so it could be straight you know like i feel like they could really get into some real topics about what really goes on because you know i don't know i just feel like they could really get into some important topics that are really relevant to today but based off of their trailer it doesn't look like they're gonna do that obviously like i said it's in a different time period so the struggles that were faced then are going to be not necessarily the same of what's current um and i think there might be some like i think some people are just old-fashioned and traditional where they feel like oh my african daughter has to marry an african man or my white daughter has to marry you know a white man so there are always going to be people with more traditional values i feel like but in general as a whole um the the issues are that they're facing are going to definitely be different because like i said this interracial biracial thing is something that's widely accepted now if not praised versus back then and i just feel like it would have been really nice to get into those details that are currently affecting today's youth um and like i was saying that example with the hair could have been a great episode you know because in real society in real today not that what happened back then isn't real but what's currently going on it's the tradition that you know the mixed hair is praised it's better it's nicer it's prettier it's better and in her eyes she has her own struggles with it so it would be great to represent the darker side like the black blacker skin the kinkier hair um, represent them well show that we're different but we're not that different you know like just because i'm mixed and light skin doesn't mean um the shit and vice versa so i feel like there's just really important issues that are like i said currently affecting not even just the youth grown men and women are still affected by certain topics and i just feel like they could have got into more of those topics personally that is a show that i would have been interested in like for example napoli ever after i don't know if y'all saw it i was so excited to see it because i have super kinky hair so i'm like finally a show that can represent black women and what we go through on the journeys to love our hair and it wasn't nothing like that napoli ever after was honestly a cop-out it was a fluff piece it was a weak-ass love story 
with a black girl who shaved her head. Like, that movie was trash. I'm sure some of y'all are gonna hate me because most people said that they really liked it. That movie was garbage, garbage. Throw it, throw the whole, throw the whole Netflix away. <laughs> like, that movie was so bad. And it sucks to me when there's, it was the perfect time because there's so much going on. Black women are finally loving and embracing their hair, their natural hair. And I feel like it was a great time for the movie to come out. Y'all had a huge platform. Y'all had so much attention, so much attraction, and you didn't do anything with it. And I feel like this is how that show is going to be. You, like I said, they're riding that ish train. There's already people sort of semi-invested. And then, like I said, there's so many biracial, interracial relationships and children. And they have a great plat platform. This could really be like a groundbreaking show to really represent the black community, represent the white community, represent interracial people. But I just really have a feeling that they're going to fuck it up. So that's my opinion. That's my little reaction on the trailer. Of course, you guys put your comments down below. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it's a little bit different from my channel aside from like the fashion and stuff like that. But um, let me know if you guys like this. I might incorporate more reactions or like you know more like of my kind of opinion type of videos if you guys want but yeah i just really wanted to make this one because i don't know this one just really felt like it just i just wanted to give my two cents i guess like i said i feel like there's some really important issues that could be touched on so maybe that's why i just felt more compelled to kind of give my opinion but you guys let me know down in the comment what <laughs> Yeah, my voice is probably weak. I told y'all I'm sick. But yeah, let me know down in the comments what you guys think your opinions are. And um, yeah, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and stay tuned for more videos.